And welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno. So, I am continuing on with another episode to make Dawnstone. Uh, Dawnstone. Ha! Ah, uh, yeah, you know what I'm making. Uh, um. Is that even. Uh, what? Probably needs to be underneath, but that's in the way. Okay, fine. Uh, I should have another fluid pipe. So let's do this, and then this. Yeah, there we go. And then this should pump out here. And then. Dawnstone ingot right there. Beautiful. Now the problem is I don't know how much it actually is stored in here for these. So I'm just gonna chuck the whole lot in and see how far it goes. So this will completely fill all this up. So and we should get a fair amount out of this. Um, I really don't like the look of that. There's no... I can put it at the back, but... Ugh. This is just weird. I guess I could put it at the back and it'll just come around there. It's just weird, but oh well. I guess I could actually just run the two pipes. Uh, is there a way to not connect them though? Because you could just have them set here. Or oh, actually, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm getting the dawnstone I require anyway, so this will do. If my calculations are right, I should get 64 of them bad boys. But. Have any patterns? We have no patterns left. So we'll make another ten. So we do this. Probably leave that tick since this one's got so much um, ores and stuff mixed together. And we want not that one. This one. We make one of them. Actually, while I'm here, let's make another one of these. As we need a couple more. I think I might make some more of those upgrades for the soldiers because they're the ones that are taking that little bit of time to make. There is the other crafter. space so this wall hopefully will expand across here and hide all these machines <laughs> and when I get flight I'll run the uh, power line underneath and connect these so everything else seems to be running nice uh, the pulverizer I made really not thinking about what I should use it for but I will it does get used but mainly we need this one first and I keep forgetting to do this so I oh, wonder what and two copper so the 
redstone furnace will be handy because it will cook a hell of a lot of items. We'll probably end up needy, uh, needing a couple of them, but it will come in handy. And, and I didn't think about it, I need another crafter. And low on again. <sighs> it just happens. This mod pack, a serious, serious issue with chewing quartz and especially the way it is made. So, I know it should actually fill up the rest of that, but we should be good. And hopefully I can make my importer. I can. Um, did I teach it? So I taught it to make the upgrades, but not the rest of it. So speed upgrade. I don't actually have any sugar either in a process. Um. I don't know how to use this. It says zero zero uses one GP, so I know I can get GP fairly quickly. I really should look into this because I don't know. Maybe it's a slow. And it can't be made in a normal crafting table. Have eight enchantment levels, bro. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, okay, can't make it in that. That's fine. Uh, I need a chicken. I have a chicken. GP to actually power my flight. Uh, where is the solar power for it? I am going blind. Or it's even not on here, which I can't see. Um, there. Solar panel. Then I want to make the. Mm, oops. I want to make the other one, the lunar panel, which requires lunar reactive dust, which is in the resonator, which I can't actually make. So this will give us three, but only when the sun is out. So. Unfortunately, it's lunar, and to get lunar dust, you need to make the other one. Ah, that's fine. We'll just work on this bad boy. So, what am I missing? The lasso I need. Oops. So, 
Beauty. Four of them. Do I have any feathers? Nope. There we go. And two feathers there. And then we go flight again. And there is our flight. But I can't use it. I no bubble slot for it. Not in aesthetics. Okay, we'll wait and see. It's not quite daytime, but the point is, is I should be able to fly for a few hours a day. That should generate three power, I think it was. So. Through the daytime I should be able to run wiring in that, but I'll test to see before I go falling into the void and dying a miserable, miserable death. Now, this actually over here will be really good, which I forgot to put the input on, because this is a pulverizer. No. This pulverizes things. So this will pulverise that quite nicely, and what I'll get it to do is I will get the redstone furnace one working, which uh, crafter and importer. These will start working, and then I can automatically get them to be pushed into the system. So I can get redstone working. Well, not redstone working, but yeah. And once I get this ran properly underneath, I can fill it in the gap with something. So we do this, and we do export on that one, and then back in. Now this is should be all hooked up and working, and I can actually start making items. Hurry up, daytime, I want to test this. Okay, so that is done. Now, I can't remember why I started all this to get it all going, but that is part of the automation, is working out. Well, not part of the automation, but remembering what it is to proceed. Because um, the only way to make iron is in this machine here, which I'll have to make well, not another one, but I will be able to make um, so we can actually make another four of them. No, I can't because I'm missing quartz, glass, and sugar. Now, the sugar I can get quite easily. I can do it this way, or I can do it. That turned into sugar. One to one. Oh, at least I get to keep my lasso. Ha! Huh. Well, apparently, <laughs> sugar's not made with sugar cane. Ah, in the crusher. Okay. Ah, that that's funny. Crusher. Squeezer, pulverizer, open boxes, or in the crusher. But this gives you three here, so let's just whack that in there. Um, and the quartz enriched is 43. There you go, decent amount. So let's make four. And I can't because of glass. Now this is where I can actually go. Uh, glass. Which can be smelted from sand. So let's look a way to get sand. Okay, we don't want that crusher. Pulverizer. Now we should be able to pulverize. Okay, 
apparently you can pulverize straight from the 15% chance. So we don't care about the output of this. So that's good. And then we want to do this. Like that. So this one is the furnace, so there, and then there. Now the only problem with that is we will need cobblestone in the network to work, which is working. Okay, so let's try this again. We should see this kick on now, which we can't because it's full of this. This isn't working. Why? Maybe it was blocked. saying here items processing and apparently it made do I have sand in the system already? I must have oh, it's processing the upgrades so I must have had yeah, I had sand in the system already. Bugger. That's fine. We can deal with that. So there's three waiting for the last one. There is our last one. Oh, actually. Ooh. Okay, this is rather terrible. So it looks like the chicken one only does um, stop shift. For it. It's a slow fall. Okay, so we need to go to the next one. Ring of flying squid, jet propulsion at your fingertips. Uses 16 GP. Then that one enters into the angel ring, which is 32 GP. Which we need a cursed lasso with a ghast and a bat. Um, so you put input jetpacks only through mechanism. And yeah. Ring of. And I don't think there's flight in anywhere else. Um, oh, there's the angel, isn't it? But that's uh, Botania way of doing it. Uses 16 GP. So this is basically a good slow fall uh, if you actually hold it down. Let's try this again. Yeah. That ain't gonna help me. That is not gonna help me one bit. It'll help me stop from slow falling, but not flight. And I never got into flight with the other gems. So, and the other one's called a uh, no tiara. And I can't see it. I know it's from Botania anyway. That requires you to fight the guy guardian, beat it up. And it uses these. So. Or not. There. 
Flugel Tiara. And you need Guy Spirit and you need an Enna bottle which I haven't got to the end yet. So hmm, my flight days are over. I wonder what the jet propelled one is. I'm really tempted to check that out. But it uses 16 GP, which I don't have. And I can't really generate it at the moment. So I guess that's put on hold for a little bit as well. I must be out of coal. Charcoal. Okay. Okay, so um, to be honest, I can't remember what I was actually going towards, but all I wanted to do was get the refined storage up and running a lot better, which it is now. I can make my th uh, thermal um, thermal fra or machine frames a lot better. There is probably a few other bits and pieces that I could do, but I think I might jump back on just processing through bees because I would like to get bees a little bit better which is that's not going to find everything but I should be able to find so a bee house note that's not the first one um, or Minecraft, ooh, minecart, ooh, scare the crap out of people by running them straight in you. Okay. All the bee stuff, here it is. So we need to make an apiary first. I thought I made one of them. I think I needed the apiary for this. Must have. Time to make another one then. Ah, oh, that's right, I needed to... So there's the beer tractor which we don't want. And we... That's right, I needed to make the farm. So, farmer. And he's changed that to be a hell of a lot easier. Oh my god, that is just insanely awesome. Uh, actually, that. That is one amazing thing that he has done. That farmer has been chopped wicked ways uh, I am very happy about that now the only problem is I don't know where my impregnated six are hopefully they are in here and they look like they are which I'll need to teach the system how to do it in a little while. Um, now the Inori blocks... I will probably have to teach how to do these. Not yet though, because I don't have a dedicated area to drop these. Beautiful. So we should be able to go doink and make a farmer. And I was actually dreading on trying to do the farmer. Now the problem is, I don't know what size this thing runs at. I think it was a 9 by 9 Uh, where was I going to do this? 
have anything out that way wise. I have power, so that should be easy. And then I can just run more cabling straight over, over from here. Easy. We'll do that. The only problem is, is I can't remember the size. I think it might be a 9x9. Nine nine. Actually, we should be able to... Farmer bloaters can be placed in world, plant and harvest different types of cross and other plants which can all be seen on the following pages. Uh, the left side is the GUI, is room reserves for seeds and the other is just blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll farm a 9x9 nine nine area in front of it. Okay. So over here. Uh, about here. And that's the wrong way. Turn it. One more. Beautiful, so it requires power, and yeah, which that can be done. Now, nine by nine. Uh, find it, so, um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Really? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so that should be the nine by nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll probably need to set up some torches. I'll set up a cool looking border so uh, I'll probably need a lot more dirt so two three four five six seven eight nine that looks good enough to me. Power. Okay, so um, I need a heap of sand. Let's craft me sixty-four. Let's go check to see if this is finished, and we'll do beautiful. So that will make me sixty-four dirt now. Old sand. I still need to do plant matter. I can't remember was I doing dirt left over here or did I take it out? I did not take it out. So we need more plant matter anyway. So we need a little bit more dirt. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll turn this one into a watering spot. Um, I wonder if there's any of the uh, sprinklers. There is not. Uh, I think there's a greenhouse. Oh, that's right. They have greenhouses too now. But I didn't want that. I was after... I think this... That's plant growth. I don't think that does what I was looking for.
Okay, so that is wrapping up Point in Time for this episode. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe. If you haven't, um, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, give me a thumbs down, tell me if I've done something wrong. But I will see you in the next episode. Laters and have fun.